Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will multiply using arrays. Solve two times eight using an array. We can read two times eight as two rows of eight. The multiplication sign can stand for rows of. So two rows of eight. Let's make two rows, one, two, and label that two. Eight on each row, eight and eight. Let's label eight. 2 times 8. Let's find the product. We can either count each one of these or we can count by twos until we finish. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. The product of 2 times 8 is 16. Let's solve 3 times 6 using an array. Remember, we can read 3 times 6 as 3 rows of 6. Let's make 3 rows and label that three. Six on each row and we can label the six. Let's find the product of three times six. We can find the product of three times six by counting up all of these. Let's count by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Or we can do six plus six is twelve and twelve plus six more is eighteen. The product of three times six is 18. Solve three times four using an array. Remember, we can read this as three rows of four. One, two, three. Three rows with four on each row. Let's label that three and label the four. Let's find the product of three times four. We can go ahead and skip count by threes. Three, six, nine, 12. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12, or 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is also 12. So the product of 3 times 4 is 12. Solve 4 times 7 using an array. Let's read this as 4 rows of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's label the rows 4. Each row needs 7. Let's label that 7. We need to find the product of 4 times 7. Now we can either add 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, or we can add 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. Let's go ahead and do 7 plus 7. We know 7 plus 7 is 14. And we have two more rows of 7 down here, which is also 14. 14 plus 14 more is 28. <laughs>